show you guys here is a trick my buddy came up with for in, um, installing your captain tape on your glass um, on your glass bed and so uh, all this is, is that you're gonna take some Windex or like a glass cleaner you're gonna spray that all over your um, glass plate um, cut some strips of captain tape to lay on it uh, I definitely suggest you go ahead and um, come to size first and then start trying to lay them down as opposed to doing it like I do um, so yeah kinda do it like this and uh, make sure there's enough Windex and just spread it around with your fingers to uh, allow the tape to slide all over the glass once there's a uh, enough um, tape down covering your glass plate you're gonna then take like a gift card um, that you might have or any kind of uh, squeegee device uh, I just use gift cards and uh, squeeze out the extra Windex underneath so you can kinda see it's getting done here um, just getting rid of the the excess liquid underneath the uh, the tape there and this is it was working really well so uh, Go ahead and trim off your tape here. Kind of trim it to the uh, shape of your glass there. And then do any final positionings and uh, try to again squeeze, squeegee out any extra um, Windex or glass cleaner from it. Go ahead and put it on your um, heated bed platform and then from here um, yeah I'm just kinda messing with uh, some little overhangs from here you're going to uh, turn on the heat uh, for your bed and then you're gonna let it heat up um, to whatever temperature I think I went up to like 215 which is standard for ABS and then um, I think I ended up dropping it down to 70 before I started a PLA print. So um, while it was heating up, I noticed uh, there was a few bubbles uh, here and there. So just go ahead and take your time and uh, keep using that gift card and uh, squeeze out the uh, extra bubbles and uh, liquid underneath there. Now the, the heated bed is going to uh, get rid of the major um, um, bubbles and stuff like that that's under there. It's just going to help evaporate it. You just kind of have to uh, squeeze them out towards the sides of the, the tape there uh, in order to get it looking really good. So um, my final product wasn't perfect. Um, there's still like little bu bubbles riddled everywhere, but there are no more big old creases um, on my build plate that would cause defects in the bottom of my prints. So it ended up uh, turning out really well and uh, just wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you'll have a uh, similar experience um, with your um, with your print beds. So if anyone comes up with a better way of doing it, please uh, let me know, share it to us and uh, yeah, good luck printing. Thanks guys.